Today, Ask F5 shows you how to use the configuration utility to configure an HTTP virtual server to redirect traffic to HTTPS using an iRule. Depending on your situation, you can use the default redirect iRule that comes with the Big IP system, or you can configure a custom iRule. A custom iRule may be useful if you want to redirect HTTP requests to your HTTPS virtual server and it uses a port other than the default 443 or uses an IPv6 address. This demonstration shows you how to accomplish these three tasks using the configuration utility. To find out how to perform some of these tasks in the TMOS shell, refer to this article linked below. You can also redirect traffic from an HTTP to an HTTPS virtual server using a local traffic policy. For more information, see this article linked below or watch the suggested video. You can configure your HTTP virtual server to redirect traffic to an HTTPS virtual server using the default sys HTTPS redirect iRule that comes loaded on the Big IP system. This iRule offers basic HTTPS redirect functionality. If your environment requires more advanced HTTPS redirect functionality, you can use the default iRule code and adapt it to suit your needs. To use the default sys HTTPS redirect iRule, do the following. Log into the configuration utility, go to local traffic, virtual servers, select the HTTP virtual server you want to redirect. For HTTP profile client, select the HTTP profile that you want to use. Select update, select the resources tab. For iRules, select manage. For available, select the default sys HTTP redirect iRule and move it to enabled. And then select finished. If you need to redirect HTTP requests to an HTTPS virtual server that uses a port other than the default 443 port, you can configure a custom iRule to do so. Note that this demonstration is an example of how to set up a custom iRule, but you may need to use a different customization to suit your specific environment. To create the custom iRule, log into the configuration utility, go to local traffic, iRules, select create, and enter a name for the iRule. For definition, enter your iRule using the following syntax. This syntax string is reproduced in the description of this video so that you can copy and paste it and change the destination port as appropriate for your configuration. After you enter the iRule, select Finished. Next, apply the iRule to your HTTP virtual server. To do so, go to Local Traffic, Virtual Servers. Select the HTTP virtual server you want to redirect. For HTTP Profile Client, select the HTTP profile that you want to use. Select Update. Select the Resources tab. For iRules, select Manage. For Available, select the custom iRule you created and move it to Enabled. Then select Finished. If you need to redirect HTTP requests to an IPv6 HTTPS virtual server, you can configure a custom iRule to do so. Note that this demonstration is an example of how to set up a custom iRule, but you may need to use a different customization to suit your specific environment. To create the custom iRule, log in to the configuration utility. Go to Local Traffic, iRules. Select Create and enter a name for the iRule. For definition, enter your iRule using the following syntax. This syntax string is reproduced in the description of this video so that you can copy and paste it. After you've entered the iRule, select Finished. Next, apply the iRule to your custom virtual server. To do so, go to Local Traffic, Virtual Servers, select the HTTP virtual server that you want to redirect, select the Resources tab. For iRules, select Manage. For Available, select the custom iRule you created and move it to Enabled, and then select Finished. And that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or send us an email. Thanks for watching.